All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we're gonna be walking through uh, batch tagging. Now this topic is covered in section one, lesson six of the Fast and Easy QBO Advanced Level Certification course. You can find out more information about it right there. And uh, if you would like access to tons more free exercises so you can practice QuickBooks Online hands-on, we'd love to have you join our locker room, which is our free Facebook group. The link is right here as well. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So in this exercise, of course, it starts in the sample company. If you don't know how to get your free QBOA account, you don't know how to access the sample company, links about that are all below, um, of course. And um, this scenario actually builds upon uh, a topic that is covered in the basic level certification course. So as you go through this exercise, it says, in this scenario, it says, in a previous exercise, we mentioned that Craig's friend John had been doing a great job spreading the word for Craig's services. Now, this previous exercise is from the basic level certification course. So it's assuming that you already know how to basically do tagging, what tagging is, how to tag individual exercises or exercises individual transactions so uh, if you need to you can click this link right here and it'll open up the old exercise the first exercise you can go through that first um, or you can just hop right into this more advanced exercise okay so moving on uh, in the advanced level exercise Craig was curious to know just how much money he had made from John's referrals, so we added the tag to a handful of transactions. That's what we did before. We added tags to individual transactions. Now what we're gonna do is batch add tags to transactions. And here it says, now Craig has, now Craig has realized that in addition to those few clients, John was also instrumental in landing Amy's Bird Sanctuary, which Craig has done a lot of work for. Let's see how we can add John's tag to all those transactions at once rather than individually. So that's the difference between what we're learning on the advanced side, which is doing a bunch at once, versus on the basic side, which is just doing the individual transactions, okay? All right, let's go ahead and walk through it. From the left navigation bar, we're gonna select banking and then tags. So here I am, oh, I'm not in my sample company yet, so I'm gonna go to the gear icon, click sample. All right, and on the left navigation bar, we're gonna click banking and select tags. All right, now we're gonna go back to our exercise, step two. Now this step is optional because if you have just done the basic level exercise, these tags will already be set up. So, um, so if you, if you're doing this on the heel of that basic level exercise, then you don't need to do steps two and three, but I'm not, I'm just doing this exercise, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk through steps two and three. All right, so we're gonna click new and select tag. Okay, so right here, new and tag. Okay, and then step three, enter the tag name John and click save. Okay, so tag name is John, and then I will click Save. Okay, now moving on to step four, we're gonna click See All Untagged Transactions. Okay, so if I go back here, you'll see, and it's kind of small right here, it says See All Untagged Transactions. So I click there. Okay, so these are all of the transactions that don't have tags. Again, the number is gonna be different if you're doing this on the heel of that other exercise because some of the transactions will be tagged. Currently, right now, I don't have any transactions that are tagged. Okay, so uh, let's go back to our exercise, step five. Click filters, then use the by contact dropdown to select Amy's Bird Sanctuary and click apply. Okay, so filter always means that we're narrowing down the list to only look at certain things. Okay, so I'm gonna click filter and the filter is gonna be by contact right here. I'm gonna select Amy's Bird Sanctuary and click apply. 
Okay, going back to our exercise, step six. Click the bottom. Oh, <laughs> can't read. Click, click the box. Click the box at the top of the column to select all the transactions in the list. Then click update tags and select add tags. Okay, so here, click the click the box. I don't know what I was thinking, click the bottom. All right, click the box. And then we're gonna use this down, the uh, this right here, to select add tags. Okay, and then next up, step seven. Put your cursor in the tags field and notice that the John tag automatically appears for selecting. Click John, then click apply. Okay, so this is tags is one of the rare things in QuickBooks Online that you can't add on the fly. Most things that you, most things when you uh, if you don't have one already, so if you don't have an account already that you need, you can just click Add New and it'll create that account. Tags doesn't give us that functionality. You have to create the tag first, which is what we just did. And now that we've created the tag, when I click in here, notice that tag is available for us. So I'm gonna click John. And then going back to step eight, click all, oops, what did I miss? Click John, then click apply, okay. Click apply. Okay, and then step eight, click all tags. So I don't have any in my list right now because I uh, this is a list only of those untagged transactions that are specified for Amy. We filtered Amy. So right here, remember it says we filtered for Amy that are untagged and now there's none in the list because of that, okay? So uh, if I were to clear the filter, I would see more there that are untagged. But now for this point, we're just gonna go to um, all tags, which is step eight, okay? So we're gonna go back to all tags right here. And now you can see here is our tag, John, and it tells us that there are four transactions there. Now again, you're gonna see a different number if you've previously done that other exercise, okay? So if I click four transactions, those are the four Amy's Bird Sanctuary transactions that I just applied that John tag to. All right, so let's see, step eight, step nine. Notice that I just went through all of that. All right, and that's it for batch tagging. Next up, we're gonna switch gears again and talk about billable expenses. And this is this, these last few exercises are gonna be the last group of exercises for section one. See you there.